you're like, wow, that's a pretty crazy idea. Oh, and by the way, we're going to have these crazy tokens that are backed by nothing. And one day people are going to treat them so with so much value uh, that they'll, they'll pay $10,000 for them. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Investing Guide. Many cryptocurrency holders are stuck and unable to predict where the future is headed in the digital assets industry. But for some who have been avidly following the prices of Cardano and have invested in it, they are confident that a breakthrough in the prices of the coin is close to happening. You will be excited to know that there is some exciting news for the coin. Cardano has come on a long way since its initial 2015 release, and today it holds at 1.25 US dollars and is named to be the Ethereum killer. However, even now, critics doubt the potential that Cardano holds. This could be due to the slow and steady approach that this team has taken thus far. One of the major events that dissuaded investors was the drawn out launch of the Shelly update that took years. Many in today's crypto world are looking for coins with fast successes. However, Cardano's team, as always, placed their aim for perfection and quality before its speed. Many of those investors who hung on with unwavering faith will be delighted to know that the coin is going strong and has entered the Alonso color coded phase, meaning that the coin is becoming close to using smart contracts. Not only that, but we're also going to be taking a look at an exciting project that could be a game changer for Cardano and all its holders. Interested to know what exactly is in the future of this coin? Well, stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss out on what this game changer is. In early July, founder Charles Hoskinson broadcasted live from his home in Cardano and revealed the next update on Cardano's development roadmap. He announced that Cardano is entering the white phase of the Alonzo network rollout. This phase was expected to be between two to four weeks, which means that we should be seeing it by the end of mid-August 2021. Following this, we're going to enter the next phase, Alonzo's purple phase. During this phase, the testnet will be open to the public, allowing stake pool operators and developers to begin building. Hoskinson also mentioned that there are currently over 1,500 developers being trained through Cardano's Plutus Pioneer program. These very developers will be making use of the next phase when it opens up. IOHK also supported this when they announced a successful hard fork of the Alonzo testnet. The Alonzo testnet has now been forked into the new Alonzo white node. This means that Cardano is very close to reaching its goal of smart contract functionality. The company also revealed that the new network has already started making blocks. The team later went on to reveal that they were working on the fixes now as they continue to add new features to the Alonzo white. IOHK first announced the Alonzo rollout earlier this year and it was revealed to be a series of color-coded test nets. And they are getting close to their final rollout, which is smart contract functionality for everyone. Hoskinson also actually announced the Cardano Summit for 2021 will be held at the University of Wyoming and be broadcasted live worldwide due to the global pandemic. He went on to say that a new research paper on HUSD, the algorithmic stable coin that will be launching on the Cardano network, will be published by the end of July 2021. Now onto the exciting project that was mentioned earlier. As you probably already know, there are five stages to Cardano's development phase foundation, decentralization, smart contract, scaling, and governance. A part of these many phases is developing a strategy to introduce the coin to the masses. Cardano has announced that as amazing as competition is within the crypto industry, Cardano is aiming higher and going against the traditional financial institutes that control much of the world economy and major tech firms. This includes companies like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Google, and Amazon. Cardano aims to make ADA a mainstream currency by integrating it into the traditional financial world. Cardano's CEO recently revealed the company's five-year plan. The plan was a major breakthrough for Cardano, and it includes partnerships with at least 50 banks and several Fortune 500 companies. The plan not only includes partnerships with private firms and institutions, but also government deals. Many of these government partnerships are already being carried out in countries like Africa, Ethiopia, and Tanzania. Cardano is partnering with these governments and giving them digital access to many things such as voting and various other public services. Rumors have also started to surface that Cardano may be working with the European Union on a similar partnership. While this sounds a bit far-fetched, just hold your horses and listen to what we have to say. Upon the news of this partnership, BitBoy Crypto, another YouTuber interested in all things cryptocurrencies, decided to investigate these rumors. 
The YouTuber announced that while no official deal between Cardano and the EU has been signed as of yet, they did manage to dig up an interesting paper trail connecting Cardano's development team to the European Union's digital identity project. The executive branch of the EU, the European Commission, announced in 2020 that they will be allocating money towards an innovation fund called Horizon. This fund consists of over $100 billion, which will be given out as grants in the project. These grants are specifically set aside for companies and organizations that are working on breakthrough technologies. These technologies have to be aimed at solving the current issues that we will be facing in today's world, such as climate change or a lack of digital identity in different countries. One of the aims of this project is to make financial services more inclusive for many people worldwide. Reports by various news outlets hint that the Horizon program will also fund a digital identity infrastructure. However, nothing can be said with absolute certainty as both Cardano and the EU have been sitting tight with their lips shut. Yet, a blockchain company called Privilege, whose aim has been to develop and advance techniques that enhance privacy, anonymity, and efficient decentralized consensuses for distributed ledger technologies (DLT), has been awarded one of these grants to work on an identity solution that can be used for services like voting, contract validation, and receiving payments from the government. And as we all know that Cardano is already partnering with governments in Africa, Ethiopia, and Tanzania to provide digital identity solutions with their blockchain technology, is it a stretch to say that Cardano may also be awarded such a similar grant? Not only that, but if you visit the Privilege website on their consortium page, you're going to notice that they've also listed all of their partners, with whom they are working with. Cardano's research team, Input Output Research, is also listed alongside several other elite institutes and companies like the University of Edinburgh and IBM. And before you say that we're just imagining things, you better listen to this. The Ouroboros Consensus Protocol, which is what the Cardano platform primarily runs on, was designed and built by a team of academic professionals led by Agaleos Kiaias. Kiaias not only introduced the protocol at the annual International Cryptology Conference in 2017, but he is also the chair of cybersecurity and privacy and the director of the blockchain technology laboratory at the University of Edinburgh and is also a member of its laboratory for foundations of computer science. Is it insane now to think that the very university listed on Privilege's website is also a partner with Cardano and has developed its primary systems? If you carry on visiting other pages on Privilege's website, you'll notice that they go on to list the roles of their partners. Under the name of Input Output Research, Privilege mentions Cardano by name. Here is what the statement has to say. IO Research is in close collaboration with its academic partner, UEDIN. We'll first analyze the requirements for software updates and public ledger systems. Then IO Research will develop a general framework based on solid theoretical foundations and cryptographic consensus protocols, which will allow handling such updates in a decentralized and secure way. Finally, IO Research will implement a prototype software update system for Cardano's stake-based ledger. Based on this, it seems like the new EU digital identity system will be built by Cardano. However, it's hard to believe that the EU will choose a newly minted company. Well, at least in comparison to its tech ancestors like Google or Amazon over other countries, including EU intelligence and technology based companies to build a digital identity system. But we believe this is because Cardano will provide the EU with some unique benefits that only a public blockchain can create a normal centralized system that has an overruling authority, meaning that it's controlled by an organization or an agency, will have many privacy and security issues. This could also risk the public protesting against the system entirely, as it could be misused by these very organizations to monitor people and their data, and will become another issue of infringement on people's privacy. We already see this happening today, where apps and websites collect your data based on what you do on digital devices. Public blockchains can avoid these very risks. In mid-2021, an article from Reuters reported that the EU will not be involving tech giants like Google and Apple in its digital identity program, as they were concerned about privacy and security issues reported from these companies. EU announced that the reason behind using a public blockchain was so that the citizens using the digital identity system will have control over their own data, and these data will be secured and not just used for other purposes. Despite this very exciting news, Keep in mind that this has not been confirmed yet, 
and it could possibly be that Cardano is one of the many blockchain networks competing to be a part of this. However, we've yet to hear any indication that other blockchains are involved in this too. If you wish to do your own research on the EU's grant, you can simply do a Google search on the Horizon Grant Agreement number 780477. And that's all the exciting news we've got for you today, folks. Just keep in mind that this no way constitutes as financial advice. And if you need help, seek your nearest professional to advise you on the next steps and where to spend your money. As always, do your own research before jumping in. And while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.